Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are showcasting Pirate King Yufa's team today, and it's a double weather ball team. So we're taking a look at the Cantonian Ninetales, as well as Politoed. So both of them have weather ball, fire weather ball, and water weather ball, respectively. And then we're also looking at Shift Tree, which is an amazing Pokemon. Definitely a great switch, or safe switch, I should say. But a good Pokemon in general gets to the move so fast. But anyway, let's uh, just begin commentating. So another shorter video for you today. Not super short, but I think there's uh, one set in here today. I don't know how the games go, so let's find out. So, okay, this weather ball coming out that will get shielded by the Gavantula. They switch into a Zumel. In comes that shift tree. Beautiful switch. Uh, okay, gonna be an ice beam. I don't think they charge up enough for play buff, but uh, obviously if they have ice beam, you're gonna go for ice beam. But either way, this shift tree charging up a lot of energy, charging up for two. Okay, very nice. So two leaf blades will be enough to KO the Azu. So one leaf blade coming out gets the shield. Okay, gets the final shield. Okay, if you have the shift tree, you can shield this, and then you can get the two leaf blades and KO this Azu, which is generally how it goes. Uh, so this shift tree charging up even more energy, I like that. So going for the first leaf blade, does he charge up another one? It might be a little bit too risky. Let's see. Yeah, he's charging up a little bit extra. Okay, able to get to it. That is huge because this shift tree has loaded energy. I really like it, man. So nice counting. Uh, but anyway, in comes Alolan Mawak. The foul play coming out, that was beautiful. Foul play coming out. I love that extra farm against the Azu. So going to be doing a lot of damage. And honestly, he gets to another one. Yeah, gets to another one. Looks like an overtap there, but still able to get to a foul play. So this is going to KO for sure. Leaf Blade would have KO'd as well, but it doesn't really matter. And then switching into this Ninetales, going for the Weather Ball. That was a beautiful game, Pirate King. That was an amazing game. Uh, yeah, well played. I, we didn't even see the Politoed, right? We didn't even see the Politoed. So, actually, in fact, all three Pokemon are actually still alive. So, you love to see it. Thank you so much for sharing these. I love Weather Ball. I love the double Weather Ball teams. I've seen triple Weather Ball teams. You love to see it. Um, you know, usually we see in you know, a Lola Ninetales with Politoed, but obviously the Kanto one gets the job done. It, it, covers other things like right now it's going to be covering this victory bell quite nicely so they do switch into shadow god of okay okay so in comes polytoad so the thing about this team is there's not really a great answer to charm i mean canto ninetales is a good answer to it because it's resisting the moves but honestly the charm would still do a lot but you know you could have stayed in with the ninetales i guess but obviously wanting to switch out to save it for victory bell so i totally get it uh but anyway going for the weather ball right now Going to be that Victor Bell, but that's totally fine because the Ninetales is in the back. Now, as I said, Ninetales is so squishy. It's still taking a decent amount of damage from these attacks, but it could farm down. The opponent still has two shields, and they actually just give up. So, uh... Wait, again, we didn't see, uh... We didn't see that Shift Tree, so... <laughs> didn't see two Pokemon in those games, so very well done. Uh, yeah. Great game. So, you love to see it. But as I mentioned, I love Weather Ball... Uh, Polytoad gets to it so fast. In fact, I use Weather Ball. I use Pelipper on my current team, but uh, I just love Weather Ball in general. So, you know, hopefully more Pokemon get it, but hopefully they don't overdo it. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the next game. I'm really uh, only two battles in, and I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so a bad lead. So let's see how he decides to play it. Going to switch into his own Polytoad makes a lot of sense. In comes a Bomber Snow. So again, that's not good, especially since you don't have Blizzard, so all these moves are resisted. But you could fake it. You could act as if you do have it, right? So going for the Weather Ball. Not getting the shield, really unfortunate. But that's okay. Uh, so Charge Attack coming out. Probably an Energy Ball. No, they're going to go for the Bait. Okay. Um, but again, you know, this Obama Snow still doesn't know that they don't have Blizzard. So they still may decide to shield this one up. They do not shield it, okay? Uh, so Politoed actually putting in work, funny enough. So another attack coming out, going to be another Weather Ball, the opponent is just baiting, and now this Politoed can actually KO this Abomas Snow because of the baits. So that's actually pretty interesting, so yeah, they have another Weather Ball. So this Politoed will win unless of that Abomas Snow shields because they didn't go for Energy Ball. So let's see, they do decide to shield, so picking up a shield, so that's really nice. Uh, so I guess that's how he'll play it out, so Abomas Snow going for another Weather Ball. Uh, th yeah, that did KO. Okay, so they switch into Politoed immediately. Out comes Shift Tree. Okay, I'm not sure if that was the greatest switch on the opponent's end. Probably let it go and then bring in the Politoed so you're not switch locked in. But that's okay. Anyway, Shift Tree shielding that Blizzard. That's a huge call. So, uh, Leaf Blade coming out. Leaf Blade. 
You're going to need two Leaf Blades. One is not going to be enough to KO, but the Polytilt does shield. And the Shift Tree charging up a little bit of extra energy. But it shouldn't be enough to KO. I think you, you do need one more. Oh, oh, never mind. It is. Okay. <laughs> it is enough to KO. But yeah. Okay, so this Shift Tree... Shielding and farming down. Yeah, shielding this weather ball going to farm down. I like that play So able to shield that and farm down and has a lot of energy in comes a lowland Marowak That's totally fine because they have a foul play and You know a leaf blade ready to go so able to go for the foul play you probably go for another foul play But yeah going for another foul play uh, again leaf blade would have been enough, but it doesn't matter I think <laughs> should have been enough, but it doesn't matter so foul play will KO so okay I think the opponent made a couple of mistakes there, but um, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. You know, I'm just pointing it out. Um, but that's okay. I mean, that was still a great game and really well played. Um, and we all make mistakes. I certainly do. If you ever watch my Twitch streams, you guys know I make mistakes. Uh, Twitch scream in the description down below, as well as this trainer's YouTube channel, because they do have a YouTube channel, so in the description down below. Um, anyway, let's see how this matchup goes. I actually have no idea. So, obviously, Icy Wind is resisted. I wasn't counting, so I don't know if they charged up for a Shadow Ball, but it's going to be Icy Wind. Uh, so, nice call. But they are debuffed. So, Weather Ball going to do less damage. And, okay, it's still still chunks, honestly. So, uh, these Fire Spins and uh, Weather Ball still chunking away, right? Ch still chunking away. Uh, so, going to go ahead and go for that Weather Ball that will get the shield. Very nice. And this Drift Blim is going to go for a move. But the switch into shift tree looks like the opponent lagged a little bit or froze. I'm not really sure, but it happens to all of us. Uh, going to go ahead and shield that shift tree. Oh, maybe they caught the move. Either way, that was a that was a good shield. Maybe they caught the shadow ball because I you know you would have expected icy one, but I guess they caught it. Oh, in comes Rose Raid. I actually battled a couple of these myself, so pretty interesting. I mean, it's a good Pokemon Weather Ball. Going to be doing super effective. Oh my. Gosh, what? Okay, that did way more than I thought. Okay, I, I underestimate Rose Raid's attack, to be honest with you. Like, I know it's powerful. I know it. its strength is in its uh, attack. I understand that. It's not a bulky Pokemon. But uh, I still honestly didn't expect it to do that much, but obviously I was wrong. In comes Politoed. You know Politoed is going to be able to win this matchup. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go for a move. It could be a bait. Uh, they're not gonna shield. It's gonna be earthquake. Okay, I would have shielded that, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, the opponent is gonna go ahead and leave that game. So very well done. Uh, yeah, that was a great game. Was that four games? Is that four zero? I believe Pirate King Yufa is currently four zero. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. I, I like this team to be honest with you. You have all these Pokemon charge up really fast, right? The Shift Tree with Snarl super fast, and then you have Mudshot. Obviously, we know that's fast. And Canto Nine Tails. Going up against oh, no, Lola Ninetales, that's not good. They do switch into Azu. Oh, they switch into Azu? Okay. All right. Pretty interesting. Oh, no. The Canto Ninetales, it was a good matchup, but not for the opponent. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so they switch out, and now in comes Shift Tree. Uh, so this Shift Tree, great situation. Going to go ahead and shield this and charge up extra energy, probably. Going to be a play rough. So now the Shift Tree is actually going to be able to charge up more recognizing that this Azu doesn't actually have Ice Beam, so it's going to be taking more to get to the play rough. One more bubble, right? So, going to be able to kale the Azumel, and now it has plenty of energy to go for a Leaf Blade. Obviously, you know, if you have that Alolan Ninetales, it looks like it has Charm as well. Uh, so, it's it's going to be doing a lot of damage to Shift Tree, but Shift Tree is such a beast, it's able to get to another Leaf Blade. So, this Leaf Blade is going to get the shield very nice. And then Chums will be able to knock it out. But I think you could just farm down with Ninetales. Uh, maybe not farm down. Oh, I guess they are going to go ahead and farm down. Uh, the only reason I said maybe not farm down is because I knew they would get to a move. So it's going to be Psyshock. But um, that's fine. That's totally worth a shield. Able to farm down after that. And in comes a Steel type. Going to be Melmetal. This is a great... This is a great situation. Melmetal does have access to Thunderbolt, I think. But most don't carry it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, maybe I am, I don't know. But either way, that's not the boost that you see. You see Rock Slide as well as Super Power. So another Weather Ball coming out, doing a lot of damage to Melmetal. Uh, even if it had Thunderbolt for the Politoed, it doesn't even matter anymore because Politoed can survive one. <laughs> so, okay, that goes down. Politoed's going to win this. 
Uh, gonna be able to actually farm that. I'll just go for the weather ball. It doesn't really matter, so might as well. Uh, so this weather ball is going to be enough to KO. I think that's a 5-0 set. That's a beautiful set, man. Thank you so much to Pirate King for submitting these battles. And definitely check them out on YouTube in the description down below. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, 5-0. That is amazing. So, to be honest, I, I actually might try this team. Yeah, I might try this team. I definitely want to use a Weather Ball team because I do love Weather Ball as a move in general. And I love a double or triple Weather Ball team. I've shoutcasted Weather Ball teams before and I absolutely do love them. Uh, but anyway, great game, great set, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.